Hi guys, so I'm at home at my parents' house right now and all of my CDs that I collected from like elementary school to high school are here so I thought that it would be fun to go through them. I have them from a bunch of different artists. So I started buying CDs because I had a CD player but then I also could play the CDs in my car. But now my car literally rejects the CDs. It's the same car and I just put a CD in and it rejects it. So I don't know what's going on with that. So that's why I haven't bought any in like 10 years. I'm thinking about buying a CD player just from a thrift store and just like having it here so I can put a CD on because they're fun to collect, but they're not super practical and I have a record player and I just would rather use my money to buy vinyl. So all of these are really old, but let's just get into them. So these are the four Taylor Swift ones I have. So the first one is Fearless. Just like the normal cover, not the deluxe version. And this is the back. It has the track list and that cute picture of her. This is like my favorite CD because the hand heart, I just think it's so cute. And it's hilarious because she has her website link and her MySpace link on it. It's like, isn't that crazy, MySpace? And this is the booklet that's in it, the iconic tea party photo. Love that picture. And this booklet is just so cute. It has every single song has a page and it just has the lyrics and like photos. I love this. I think it's so funny. It's just so 2008. She did a, such a good job with all these like lyric booklets. And then also this is where she like capitalized random letters in them to spell out I don't even know I haven't tried to figure out what it spells out but this is one of the albums with the secret hidden messages in it then I have the speak now world tour CD and DVD I don't have the speak now normal CD or the DP one I don't know why I don't know where they went or if I maybe I never had them but this tour literally changed my life everyone talks about the rep tour and the Eras tour no one talks about the Speak Now tour. It is so underrated. And although the Eras tour obviously is incredible, it's like all a screen. Like the stage is a screen. There's a giant screen in the back. So I feel like there aren't that many sets. Like there's some sets, but this, like the entire tour was set changes. You need to watch it if you haven't watched it. It's incredible. When I was younger in middle school, my friend and I would have a sleepover every weekend and we'd alternate between her house and mine. And every single time she slept at my house, I would make her watch this tour movie. So this is what the CD looks like. It's hard to open and it opens like this and then that is what the DVD looks like. This is the booklet and inside, oh this is so cute, there's just a bunch of photos from the tour. That is, oh that's mean. Back to, oh it has the song, so back to December, better than revenge. Speak Now, Fearless on the Ukulele, Last Kiss, that performance is incredible, I love that song, You Belong With Me, Dear John, also amazing, Enchanted, guys if these photos don't convince you to watch the movie, you're missing out. Then we have Red, and this is the normal version, not the deluxe version. And it's so funny because I don't know why I don't have the deluxe version. So when Red Taylor's version came out, I literally thought Come Back, Be Here, and Girl at Home were vault tracks. Like, I had no idea. I'd never heard them before. Because also Taylor wasn't on streaming for like a really long period of time, so all I had to listen to was a CD. Maybe they weren't on iTunes. I have no idea. But this is my CD. Again, all the Taylor Swift CDs I have are stolen because I bought them as they came out and I haven't bought any Taylor Swift CDs in like 10 years. So it opens, that's what the CD looks like. This is the booklet, that's the back. There's a prologue that she wrote. And yes, it just again has pictures and the lyrics for every song. This one's so cute. So this one ends with Begin Again. Then I have 1989 Deluxe. Thank God I have the Deluxe version because New Romantics is on the Deluxe edition. So this is what the front looks like. That's the back. I also think the CD is so cool. Just I love when there's photos on a CD. This is so funny. It's like a how to enter Taylor Swift sweepstakes to meet her. I probably filled that out. This is the booklet. That's the back. Another forward. Oh, this is such a cute picture. 
Okay, so this one, it's like there's two songs on the side and then one Polaroid photo. I love this so much and she like wrote the lyrics on the Polaroids. And the bonus tracks don't have a page. This just ended with clean. Okay, that's it for my Taylor Swift ones. So then I have an artifact, an ancient artifact, and it is Up All Night by One Direction. I have no idea where I got this. I mean, I got it in like 2012 or whatever, but I think it's so funny that I have this because it's just literally the funniest. It's broken, but this is what the CD looks like. The back is um, like, running on the what makes you beautiful beach this is the booklet and inside the booklet there's like a photo of them with a bunch of lyrics next to it and like each band member has a photo it's so funny like i'm never getting rid of this r.i.p one direction okay i also was a huge ed sheeran fan back in the day and this is one of the coolest collections because I have all of these EPs that came out before Plus came out. And I don't know if these ever ended up coming out in the US, but I got these in England in like 2014. So this is songs I wrote with Amy. They're like a matte um, material. Songs I wrote with Amy has Fall, Fire Alarms, Where We Land, Cold Coffee, and She. And then I have Loose Change, which is like my favorite. So this has... Let It Out, Homeless, Little Bird, Sofa, One Night, Firefly, Bonus Tracks, The City, Love It, Sticky Studios, oh my god, it keeps falling out, and a Firefly remix. And then I have Number 5 Collaboration Project, which is when he collaborated with a different rapper on every single song. This was his rap era, you guys. So it has Lately with Devlin, You with Wiley, Family by P Money, Radio with JME, Little Lady with Michael Payne. I love that version. Drown Me Out with Gats, Nightmares, Random Impulse, Sway, and Wretch 32, Goodbye to You, Dot Run. Then I have Plus. This is by far my favorite album by his. I like kind of stopped listening after multiplication or whatever. How do you even say that album? I don't know. This is the insert and it also has the lyric booklet. And yes, this is, I had a multiply. It's the last CD I bought by him. Um, that's what it looks like. This is the back, kind of cool. And this is what the lyric booklet looks like. Very on theme with the black and green colors. Just some drawings and some lyrics. Okay, now we're into random artists. So I have Salad Days by Mac DeMarco. And this is, it's so cool, but it's so tragic because I don't know where the CD is. It's missing. I'm never gonna find it either because I don't even know when it went missing. This is Born to Die Paradise Edition by Lana Del Rey. So this is Born to Die, it's so pretty. And then you have to open it. It's like totally broken. And that's the Paradise Edition with the extra songs on it. I literally just broke all of my CDs, it's so crazy. Oops. Okay, there aren't any photos, they're just all lyrics in the booklet. Then I have Woman by Rye. This again isn't plastic, it's like the cardboard one, has a lyric booklet, and then the CD. CD looks like this. I have The Suburbs by Arcade Fire. I kind of like that font, that's cute. I got this used, so that's nice. I have Babel by Mumford & Sons. This is a really cute CD as well. This is what the back looks like. Okay, so the lyric booklet has lyrics with little photos. So that one doesn't have photos. Just like little tour photos and stuff. Okay, also this is so random, but I am so passionate about Marcus Mumford's glow up. Like I saw a picture of him recently and I was like, wait, he's kind of good looking. And I was like, I don't remember him being good looking. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's just he grew a mustache, but he's looking good these days. Then I have Rockaway Beach by the Ramones. I literally bought this album because I think Harry Styles used to wear a Ramones shirt. So then I was like, Ugh. I like the Ramones, you know, when I was like 13. But this also is a really cool CD. It like opens like that. And it's bright pink, which we love. Then we have Bankrupt by Phoenix. I love this album so much. Again, I have no idea where I got this or why I got it. Such a cool CD. And the last one, I was obsessed with this album in like fourth grade. I think my mom bought it. Carnival Ride by Carrie Underwood. This is probably really funny. I just love the like early 2000s country photo shoots. They're just a snapshot into that moment in time. Yell cute yellow CD. Ooh, this opens up like that. 
and that's all the lyrics okay that's it those are all the cds that i own i'm planning on also doing a vinyl collection and that would be way cooler so let me know if you want to see that but thanks for watching bye